close your eyes, and try to stay with your breath. The breath comes in, the breath goes out, and John Lee's images of having your mind like a post by the edge of the sea. The waves come in, the waves go out, but the post stays still. Get it firmly planted in the breath, in your sense of being here in the present moment, because the mind needs a steady place to stay. If it's not in a steady place, then it's like a post lying on the beach. The waves come crashing in and they move the post back and forth. Anybody gets in the way, they, their arms are going to be crushed, their legs will be crushed. Eventually the post itself gets smashed against the rocks. So you don't want your mind to be smashed like that. You want your mind to be stolid, solid and still. So plant it here in the present moment, plant it with a breath. As for any thoughts that come in and go out, just let them come in and go out like the water around the post. You don't have to get engaged. There are times, of course, when you will have to think. But right now, the only thinking you want to do is thinking involving the breath. How are you going to stay right here? How are you going to develop something really solid right here? Because without this solidity, then as things change around you and change inside the body, the mind's going to be flailing around grabbing at this, grabbing at that, because it used to depend on things outside being a certain way, and used to have, having the body be a certain way. And they'll be that way for a while, but then they'll change. And so you have to be prepared for that, so that when they change, the mind doesn't have to change along with them. That's the Buddha said, is what it means to be healthy in mind, even though you may not be healthy in body. The mind is not grabbing onto things that are going to cause it sorrow or disappointment. It's got something solid inside that it can hold on to. So you have to develop it, though. That's part of the path. Eventually it will take you to something that you don't have to develop, but in the meantime th there's a lot of work that goes into the development. As the Buddha said, it involves all the basis of success—desire, effort, attention or intention, and using your powers of judgment. And sometimes you hear three of those things that are said to be bad things in modern Buddhism—desire, efforting, passing judgment. But the Buddha said, if you learn how to do these things skillfully, they do form part of the path. And if you don't do them at all, you're just flailing around, wandering around with nothing solid. So give the mind a solid place to be in the present moment, a place where it has a sense of well-being as it's solid. And then with the ups and downs of the world, the rise and the fall of the, the tide, your mind will still be safe. Safe both for yourself and safe for other people. Remember that post, it, that if it's lying down on the edge of the water, it, not only does it get smashed, but before it gets smashed it tends to roll over a few people, breaking their arms and legs, which you don't want. So keep your mind firmly implanted in the, in the beach, deep down inside, down to a rock. So when the waves come in, the waves go out, the post stays still.